Should we do? I don't know. What can we do? Well, I don't like it when it's forced. I don't either. We can always just do a normal intro. That would be funny. Just be like, today we're going to talk about blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Graham. And my name is Rob. And today is Fun Day Monday, which means we're going to be playing a little game. What kind of game? All right. <clears throat> so, what kind of game? We have five glasses here. Okay. Don't count mine. There are six Scotch regions. Coincidence? No. <laughs> we're going to play a game where Rob is going to select a single malt scotch from every region in Scotland, which you can find right here. Five out of the six. Five out of the six. Because I'm not going to tell them which five. We don't have a lowland region That's at why. this point. <laughs> I think there's only three distilleries open right now, so slim pickings anyways. But we will have the island region. Huh. Speyside. Huh. Island. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Highland. Lowland. No Lowland. Oh, Campbelltown. And last but not least, Isla. Which is five of the six. It's not. still fun, right? Graham is not gonna know. I will be disappearing into the shadows. Yes, and he will not know one which region each glass is, but also he will not know which scotch. So I'm gonna try and Maybe just guess what some of the characteristics are, mm -hmm. and then see if I Try can... Try and guess the region first. Guess the region, and then yeah. maybe if I'm feeling up to it, I will guess... Like, oh, that, that what stuff Scotch right it there is. is definitely McAllen. So he's just going to randomly pick from the bar, and we have... we got to have like 30 bottles, at least 35, 40 bottles. So there, it's not like there's 10 bottles, and we're just kind of picking. There's about 12 there, there's, there's, there's about, about 30 down there. Yeah. So you're, you're looking at about 40. This is just supposed to be fun. We're just gonna so have hopefully fun. this is entertaining. Yes. I don't know if you'll learn anything. Maybe just how crappy I am yeah. at guessing. This is all about fun. It has nothing to do with um, anything. Anything <laughs> other than maybe learning a little bit more about the regions. Yeah. And yeah. So let's see how many he gets right. This is gonna be fun. I'm out of here. So bad opening up somebody else's bottle. I'm gonna have to buy him a good bottle for his birthday. Ooh, that sounded nice. Where are you? Where the hell are you? There she is. So what's your favorite holiday? <laughs> this is going to be entertaining. So far it's not, but it will be. Just stay with us. Oh, that smells good. Bring it on, Graham. We're ready for you. Come into the red corner. Graham. Here in the blue corner, even though I said the red, but he has a blue hat on now, so I gotta say the blue corner. Graham Zeno. And in the red corner, we have five different regions. Now, is he gonna be able to defeat these regions? and be able to tell which one is which and say out of here and knock out let's just say we don't have numbers but i got them written down right here in order okay he's just not gonna like disorganize them or anything like that this is number one two three four and five. First one definitely it smells like a macallan sherry floral fruit Number two. 
Definitely peat on the nose. So that's probably gonna be the Isla, but we're gonna taste these first. The way you know if it's peat, obviously is smokiness, brine, campfire, things like that. I bet you're really hoping you're right right now, right? I know I'm right. <laughs> With that one at least. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little bit of sweetness, but definitely not as much as the first. Okay. Not as much on the nose. Interesting. Hmm. It's probably like a bourbon or something he threw in here. That would have been funny. Have the six, the, and then one of them's the, the bourbon. <laughs> it's the Johnny Walker <laughs> blended wine cask or whatever. Oh, this one smells good. This one definitely smells. Mm, I, I can. This is the one where I can't put my finger on it. Where it smells like sheep dip. That thick nose, but it's not pig nose. <sighs> I like that. It's almost this one. This one smells like a Highland. I can't explain what I'm getting, but it smells like a Highland. Right. Highlander. Ooh, but this one kind of smells similar. Similar to number four. So I do know one of them Springbank because we only have one from Campbelltown. Okay. So you think you you think either four number four or number five is Spring Spring? No, not necessarily. Okay, okay. But I'm just, just <laughs> the fact. <laughs> Make sure. Well, they're all. The, the fun thing is, is they are all different. Except That's for good. these two are pretty similar. Okay. But definitely a difference between most of them, which is awesome about scotch. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get a lot of different varieties of nosing, yeah. palate, and finish. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Number one, folks, on the palate. It's funny because I can, I know the taste and I, I know what it is, but I can't guess it. Well, we've had sure. so many, and we're just like, oh, it could be this, could be that, but but it's f very it familiar. Gets sort of sort of close to. It. <clears throat> what what are you what are you uh, tasting right now? <sighs> Definitely getting some some sherry notes. Okay. Some spice, some right. honey. Okay. Mm. Um, long lasting finish. Lots of spice on the tongue. Very good. Okay. Most of these I'm guessing are gonna be really good, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, I kinda used all your good stuff. In case anybody's wondering, I am drinking uh, mm. McAllen. Um, what is it? I don't even know, you poured it. Oh, the classic cut. Classic cut. I should have known that. I'm gonna wait on two <laughs> because I do believe this is the peat, and I don't wanna mm. diminish my palate. So I'm good gonna choice, go right to three here. God, I gotta remember what I all thought each one was. So this I thought Speyside, Isla, I believe this one's maybe the Springbank. Hmm. Yes, this is gonna be Springbank. And the reason I know that is because a little bit of citrus, but then there's a little bit of smoke. Okay. Just off the finish. Springbank is a distillery in Campbelltown, which is a region next to Isla, which does tend to have a little bit of smoke, but definitely not as powerful as an Isla Scotch. And I, on the finish, I do get a little bit of that smoke coming through, so I do believe three is going to be Springbank. Number four, on the flow. It feels like an old friend. Okay, it feels like an old friend you see, but you cannot remember their name. Do you hate it when that <laughs> happens? <laughs> I know I'm gonna guess this one wrong, and I'm gonna kick myself. So with four, it's, um. I don't know how else to explain it, but it feels like it's like a warm malt. A real thick hmm. uh, in my palate, and I really like that. Okay. All right, let's go to five. Number five. See how long it takes me to get tipsy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm the sober one. My knees us. are getting weak. You can, yeah, you gotta drink. We can uh, fill yeah, you yeah. up. Let's, let's fill you up. Number five on the nose, I definitely get some vanilla, which is, I, I really do. That's no, fine if you do. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> which I really do. Maybe some. So some vanilla, maybe some wood. Okay. Wood splinters in there. Wood splinters, <laughs> huh? Some wood. You must wooden smell spice. a lot of wood. Very clean smell. Very okay. Very pleasant. What do you mean by clean? Like uh, just clean? Like maybe <laughs> maybe a little bit of citrus. Like just, not too strong. It's like very delicate. Almost. Yeah. Very. Like yeah. Strong but not powerful. Okay. You get on the palate there. Definitely some vanilla. Okay. I should be tasting water between these. Yes, please do. Oh, here. 
No, it's okay. Where's that log of oil in 16 at? <laughs> Let me go to number two here. Mm -hmm. This one I really would like to get right because I do pride myself on, mm. on Isla being one of my favorites. Okay. Smells like an hard bag. It's got that that brine smell to it. Campfire. Mm. Packs a punch with some peat. Oh, that's some strong smoke. <laughs> it's like somebody, <laughs> somebody a little match in my mouth. So here's what we're gonna do. I've tasted all of them. I'm gonna guess the regions. Guess the regions first. And then- Do you want me to tell you if you're wrong or right on the regions? Or do you wanna guess what they are first? I'm just gonna go through the line. Okay. Let me know what I'm right and wrong on. Okay. And then maybe from there, I will try and guess which one's which. So the first one I'm gonna say oh, is- man. I like lymphatic. <laughs> the first one I'm gonna say is a space side. Number two. You want me to tell you if you're right or wrong? Not yet. Not yet. Number two, Isla. Okay. Number three, Campbelltown. Okay. Number four. These are tough because Island and Highland seem to have some same characteristics. I'm gonna say four is the Highland, five is the Island. <sighs> okay, do you wanna retry that? Now I'm going to tell them what regions they are. So, for number one, Graham said, or he thinks, that the region is Speyside. He is wrong. It is an island. Okay. Ah! Number two, <laughs> Graham thinks that it's an isla. And he is right. Woo! It is an isla. Number three, Graham says it's a Campbelltown. It's gotta be. And he is right. Yes! <laughs> you hear that right? Right. <laughs> um, number four, Graham thinks that it is Two a Highland. Two out of three. Highland. Three. Two out of three is not bad. It is not a Highland. Ah, oh, it means I only got two out of five. It is a space site. So, okay. So, number one was a, an Island. You need refills here? Nah. Okay. One was an Island. Right. One was an island. All right, let's see. I'm gonna say this is Highland Park 18. Wow, straight to the 18, <laughs> huh? Don't wanna guess the 12 or the 15, you just Highland uh, Park 18. Well, it's still got the label on it. Well, you got one open down there too. Why straight to the 18? Why, why'd you skip the 12? You knew you just... Cause it's definitely got that, and this is why I think I thought it was a space side. It's got the... I guess not necessarily sherry, but more of like that fruity, citrusy flavor or smell and taste. Okay. And a lot of times you get that with a space side too, but it might be sweeter, maybe more sherry. You know, and now going back to it when you know what it is, you definitely pick up those other aromas. But do you know what it is? Oh, because you know it's a, an island. Yeah, well that's okay. Yeah. okay. So, <clears throat> and I guess that's the Highland Park 18. Okay. So I know earlier you said that you were thinking maybe I'm gonna Ardbeg. go. I'm gonna go with Ardbeg 10. Ardbeg 10. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> How am I doing so far? Do you want me to tell you? Mm-hmm. So the first one, you're right. Highland Park 18. Ding 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 ding. The second one, you are wrong. It is actually the Lafroig Triple Wood. Oh. So, I've only, had, close. I've only had the triple wood, I think, once or twice. Okay. And I just know typically with Laphroaig, I get that sweet finish with the smoke, but I just typically... Hey, you said it was the Isla. I mean... Oh, well. Yeah. We know this is uh, going to be Springbank because we only have one from Campbelltown. There's only three distilleries, so... Oh, I'll take another swig to the hell of it. Can I <laughs> hit that one on the head. I don't have any more of this one. Nobody fill it up. Which one was this? The, one? Which that was the uh, space side. Space side. Let me just see if I can get it on the nose. There's a swig in there. I'm gonna say Macallan 12. Okay. Which Macallan 12? Which one? Double cask. Ding ding ding! Holy sh! <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good for not even having anything in here and just doing the smell of the remnants in the glass. 
Come on. Can I get a little harumph for that? Yeah, I get a little harumph, but you didn't. I mean, I got, I got, <laughs> I got that wrong, but. <laughs> and then five was the Highland. Yes. I'm gonna guess open just because I saw the bottles open or it's gone. It is not at all. It is, it is really honey, honey filled on the nose. Maybe a little bit of toffee. Hold on here, hold on. I just had something cross in my mind and then I lost it. <laughs> cross! It's yeah. got a good balance of honey and vanilla and to be honest, I really have no clue. It's a Highland. It is a Highland. I'm just gonna take a stab. I've never had it before, but I, I'm just. Are you sure? No. I, <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, hit me with it. Hit me with your best shot. Well, I will say that you've never had it before, so you're right about that. It's Dalmore. Is it really? Yep, it's Dalmore. I really like that. The only reason I opened up the Dalmore over the other stuff is because I know you've been talking about opening it anyways. That's got a really good nose. Good. For the regions, you got two out of five right, and yeah. for the actual scotches, you got three out of five right. Which I've isn't bad. That... I feel like you should have done better. Graham, what is your favorite out of the five? <sighs> They're all winners in my book. If it's scotch, it's pretty much good, but I will say I was most surprised by the, the Dalmore, mm -hmm. the nose and the flavor. That was really good. They're all, they're all my favorite. Oh, good. good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we had some fun here. <laughs> Next time we're going to do this with bourbon and Rob's going to be tasting it. Oh, he's going to be guessing. We're not going to stop until he's wasted. I don't fun with that. We'll do like 20 different. We won't bourbons. stop filming until he's on the floor. So we, we have done a bourbon uh, shootout, but yep. it will be fun with you knowing and messing with my head. And I know how you can be as a host. You can really F with somebody's <laughs> mind. So it looks like the red corner won this one. But I will be back. You, but the cool thing is you lasted all 12 rounds. That's right. I'm going to get stronger. Or I guess all five I'm rounds. I'm going to keep working out and I'll be back. You lasted back. all five rounds, went to the judges. You did good. I didn't get knocked out. I it's will just say a this. Decision. I will say this. You pretty much got the palate down. You got yeah. the noses down. You just weren't sure exactly what they were. And it's tough to blind taste test something and yeah. A, know where it's from, well, and B, and, know what it is, but. And, and C, knowing what you have and your mind playing tricks on you, like, yeah. I think it's this. You know, because when you taste something and you know what you're supposed to get, that's mm -hmm. one thing, but then when you blind taste it, it's interesting on. It's kind of like when we did the McGallan versus Greenstone. Somehow the Greenstone came you just, out. You just never know. And this yeah. is just a fun game to try things mm -hmm. and just see what is tickling your palate. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you want us to make some more, you know, maybe we could switch it up a little bit with different types of whiskeys or, um, you know, whatever. Have Rob do it. Let us know. We'd be uh, definitely uh, in the market to have some more fun with this type of stuff keeps things light yeah it's not the same old same old um, but please give us a like and subscribe Boom. don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified when we come out with new videos yes and we also don't forget about our patreon yeah if you want to unlock cool rewards uh, go to patreon yeah. backslash simple diversion and um, yes. and once again patron. thank you Andrew Johnson yeah hey you just got two shout outs yeah you're only supposed to get one <laughs> Do you want to say anything about a giveaway for a thousand subscribers? Uh, ooh. About a shirt? About a shirt. Giving a shirt away? Okay. Well, let's make sure they know that we have mediums and um, extra larges for the shirts. So, for the giveaway, um, if you're not a medium and an extra large, don't even bother. Unless you have a kit. We're going to be doing a giveaway I guess here in the, the near future. <laughs> um, just, we're so thankful that we hit 1,000 subscribers. And we want to give a little bit back to you. So keep your eyes open for a giveaway video. Yeah. Coming out in the next couple weeks once we figure out what we're giving away. Hmm. All right, guys, don't forget to have a drink in one hand, a cigar in the other, and good company kind of sweet. by your side. A little nutty. And as always, we'll see you soon. See you soon.